Okay, um, we're going to be learning how to remove spots and blemishes from photos. Um, the amount of work you're going to be doing in this one really depends on, you know, how bad are the spots, how many blemishes are there. If there's not so much, there's not a lot of work. If there's a lot of them, there's quite a bit of work. Um, it really just depends on the photo. Let's have a look at here what we have to work with. This photo isn't that bad. I mean, it's got, you know, she obviously has a bit of uh, spots around here and, and, you know, we can take away this uh, mark here and so forth. But, um, you know, it, it shouldn't take us too long. Um, my preferred tool, now you can use um, Spot Healing Brush, which is alright until you get, you know, you, you get close to, to edges and then it starts messing things up. So I like controlling things a bit more. So if we go to the Healing Brush tool, then we actually, we are afforded if we alt, you know, we can alt click on an area that has a similar tone to the affected area and then we can just brush away. Now the first thing I like to do is, uh, if we bring up the Layers Palette here, is just to create a new layer and then um, we already have our tool selected and then the sample layer we want to make sure that it's selected to all layers what this does is um, I'll, I'll be making the modifications to this layer here which we'll call it um, no spots and uh, if we make any mistakes we can just go back delete some parts of it we can turn it on and off and compare how you know our progress is doing so it's it's a really good way of working so that's the way I like to work this way we're gonna be showing this to you here so like I said, we're going to be alt-clicking on an area that has a similar tone and then just clicking away. Let me zoom in here a bit more. Okay. And it's just a matter of just, you know, I like always resampling before um, making any modifications. Just making sure I'm sampling a similar area but not the exact same thing. And Oh, we can get a bit lazy and just do a bit of it from the same area. Sometimes you start running into problems. That's why I like resampling from similar areas all the time. Now, as, as you start getting closer to edges, that's when you really need to start paying attention or maybe make your brush a little bit smaller and um, maybe even zoom in a bit more. Got a bit of a red. And I always like just just um, just clicking. I, I you know if you if you just drag things, then you start making mistakes. So just one click. That's all it takes. Just one click. Let's even remove this uh, highlight here. There we go. Little spot hidden there. All right, she's looking fantastic here. What do we got? Oh, the forehead. Okay. You always want to make sure that um, your brush is a bit bigger than the spot itself. So just uh, just adjust as uh, the spot sizes uh, require. Because you really want to be doing as little effort as possible. You don't want to be clicking two or three times on something, you know. Okay, let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Uh, a good way to compare whether or not you're done or not is really just turning off the spots layer, yeah? And just compare what you have, what's still there. And I think I can see something in her nose, at the tip of her nose. It's a bit red here, so we're just going to try to make that go away. Should be sampling a little bit. And let's have a look here. That looks pretty good to me. Now, if you make a mistake, um, here's a quick way to fix this. Is um, Let's say you've... Uh, obviously, you can undo if you do something like that. But let's say you didn't even notice and you did a couple of, you know, silly things. And then you turn it on and off and you go, oh, shoot, you know, I messed up her lip there. What you can do, because you're in a separate layer, is just go back in there. Delete it. No problems. Yeah. Let's just uh, just notice the bit of spots here and here. There we go. So you can play around as much as you like. Um, try not to spend too much time removing spots. But uh, there you go. Blemishes and spots. Not a problem with Photoshop.